hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we created the stats api and we wrote the code to calculate the total and latest income and expenses and in today's video we will update our stats api and we will write the code to calculate the balance minimum income maximum income and minimum expense and maximum expense so let's get started so in our Spring Boot application, first of all, we need to update the stats DTO. So we will open this class and after four of these, we need to return the balance. So we will write private and the data type of this will be double and we will name this as balance. And after this, we need to return the minimum income. So we will duplicate this line and we will rename this to min income. And after this we will return the maximum income so we will duplicate this line again and we will rename it to max income and after this we need to return the minimum expense so we will again duplicate and we will rename this to min expense and after this we will duplicate it one last time and we will rename it to max income and with this our stats tto is completed now we need to update the service method so we will open stats service implementation and in this get stats method first of all we need to write the code to calculate the balance so we will write stats tto and we will call a method set balance and we can calculate this balance by subtracting the expenses from the income so we will write total income and after this we will subtract this from total expense and after this we need to write the code to calculate min max incomes and min max expenses so we will create a list of type income and we will import it from expense tracker dot entity and after this we will name this as income list and we will set the value in it by using our income repository and after this we will call a method find all and after this we will import this list class and after the income list we need to get the expense list so we will create an other list of type expense and we will import it from expense tracker dot entity and after this we will name this as expense list and we will use expense repository and we will call a method find all and after this we need to write the logic to get the minimum income so we will create a variable of optional double and we will import it from java.util and after this we will name this as min income and after this we will use our income list and we will call stream and after this we will call a method map to double and in this we will write income and after this we need to get the amount so we will call get amount method and after this to get the minimum value we will call a method dot min and after the minimum income we need to get the maximum income so we will duplicate this line and after this we will update the name and we will name this as maximum income and at the end we need to update the method and instead of min we will call max and after this we need to calculate the minimum expense so we will again duplicate this line and this time we will name this as min expense and after this instead of income list we will use expense list and in the map to double method instead of income we need to write expense and at the end we will call the min method and after this to calculate the maximum expense we will duplicate this line and we will rename this min expense to max expense and after this we will call the max method instead of min and after this we need to set these values in the stats dto so we will use stats dto and we will call a method set maximum expense and in this we will use max expense and after this we need to call is present method because this is an optional variable and if it is true then we will use max expense and we will call a method get as double and in else case we will set it as null and after this we need to set the minimum expense in the stats dto so we will duplicate this line and instead of calling set max expense we will call set min expense and after this we will use min expense dot is present method 
and in case of true we will use min expense dot get as double and after this we need to set the minimum income and maximum income so we will duplicate this line again and after this we will update the setter method and we will call a method set maximum income and after this instead of minimum expense we will use maximum income and in the case of true we will use maximum income dot get as double and after this we will duplicate this line one last time and we will update the setter method and we will call set min income and after this we will replace the max income with the min income and in case of true we will call min income dot get as double and with this our stats api call is completed now let's run our application And as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors. Now let's go to the postman and let's test the changes. And in the postman we will use same request details which we created previously. And after this we will click on this send button to call the API. And as you can see we got 200 OK. And in the response body we can see we got income, expense, latest income, latest expense. And after this we got balance as 900 and after this we got minimum income as 500 and maximum income as 1200 and at the end we got minimum expense as 500 and maximum expense as 800. And that's it for today's video. From the next video we will start working on our front end application.